All right, let's try this shit again. 10 minutes, we're gonna open up as many of these packs as we can, um, skipping to the uh, uncommons and the rare. And we're doing it till we get money. Anything over $2. Is that too much to ask? Seriously, anything over $2. We've been getting hit in the face with 50 cent cards uh, after 50 cent cards. So if we gotta open the rest of the packs in the thing, I will open them. But no more 50 centers, please. I'm serious. This has been a crap box so far. I mean, except for the box topper, which was the Death Corona. But other than that, and the full art triome, nothing. So we'll count furries too, of course. Is that a furry? No. Okay, so all the uncommons are gone. No foil. All the uncommons are gone. Not a single furry. We're heading downhill here, folks. It's not a pretty thing to watch. So uh, we got Sonorous, Howl Von Nerf. This is a three, two, two for three. It's got Menace. Each creature you control with Menace can't be blocked except by three or more creatures. So, okay, that's got playability there. Uh, instant target creature gets 2-2 two, two on the end of the turn. If it's blocking, instead put two 1-1 one, one counters on it. Cycle that baby out of my life. Flame spill deals 4 damage. Nope. And the rare is something I've never seen before. So it's Hunted Nightmare. It's a 4-5 for 3. Okay, that's starting out pretty good. With Menace, that's even better. When Hunted Nightmare enters the battlefield, target opponent puts a death touch counter on a creature they control. Okay, well, that just shit that value right out. <laughs> I mean, that was, it was a good card till then. Uh, yeah, that's probably 50 cents, I'm guessing. Is it too much to ask, people? There, now, see, now I'm treating, now I'm treating with anger. I'm just ripping through the whole pack. Uh, okay, let's see what we got here. No furry. One furry. No furry. No furry. Bug thing. Eyeball. Anticipate. And furry? Is that a furry? I'm going to go furry on that one. We got two furries. And no foil. Okay, we've got a... Japanese art, Hunt Master Tiger. I hope it's Japanese art. Otherwise, I've just been really, really, you know, saying Japanese for a long time up in these packs. Uh, and it's not, doesn't mean anything. When this creature mutates, all other creatures you control get 1-1 one, one until end of turn, where 1 is the number of times this creature has mutated. Or 0, since I'm never going to mutate. Another mutate. P-O-S. 7-7 seven, seven for 7. When it mutates, tap X target creatures where X is the number. Yeah, okay, so tap one creature when it mutates. Ooh. Oh, God, I'm so sick of mutate. I just placed my order for the M21 uh, reprint set, and boy, am I going to be glad to not read the word mutate. If they have cards in that set with mutate on it, I'm going to be pissed. Uh, when this mutates, return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. Okay, 4-4 for four, 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 four. We got a rare... It's a blue five four something. It's the goddamn shark. Okay. You hear those dollar bells? No, because none of these are worth one the dollar. Uh, when this great shark enters the battlefield, counter target artifact or creature spell. Want want a flash? Yeah. Who's holding five mana on the off chance that somebody's gonna ca cast an artifact or creature spell? Well, creature maybe, but I mean, who's holding five mana for that? Ridiculous. Where's our other rare? Let's line these bastards up. There's garbage number one, garbage number two, garbage pile. Uh, mm, not a fur. Uh, is it a furry? No, it's hurting things. That's a furry. It says friendship in the flavor text.
no foil. Uh, that that should be a furry. That's the king of the furries. I'm electing you king of the furries. The brush wag should be king of the furries. What do we got here? We got migratory great horn. Uh, mutates. When it mutates, search your library for a basic land card, put it on the battlefield. Yeah. Uh, is it re wait, this is this is common. Sorry, I miscounted. Momentum Rambler. If it attacks and doesn't have first strike, it gets first strike counter. If it has first strike and it attacks, it gets double strike until end of turn. Okay, I'm not going to shit on that. Target creature gets 7-7 seven, seven until end of turn. Up to one other target creature blocks it this turn if able. Okay, so that's removal, kind of, in green. I don't hate that. Got yourself a crystal. And a rare. Looks like a land, maybe. No, it's another ultimatum. Son of a bitch. How many ultimatums have we pulled in this box? Huh. Return any number of permanent cards with different names from your graveyard to the battlefield. Okay, if you're an EDH and you're in these colors, it's late game. This could be big. It's happening on your turn, so yeah, this could be big. I'm not mad at this, but that's got to be like a buck fifty. I mean, I, did, I looked up the ultimatums. They're all garbage cards. They're EDH only customers. I mean, seriously, nobody outside of EDH is playing an ultimatum. So, I should do this on camera. So, what are we at now? Seven, eight, nine, ten packs, all garbage. No furry, furry, no furry. Is that a furry? Yeah, I'm gonna call it a furry. No furry, furry. I've lost count. I don't know if we have a foil here. I've lost that. It's definitely a furry. It's not a furry. Okay, do we have a foil? Let's see. We got, we got one, two, three. Yeah, okay. We got a, We have something in back there. There's something going on back there. Let's get to it. Uh, trample. It's an 11-11 for nine. When you cycle it, put a trample. Okay, you know. Flying Haste, although that's the only card I could see put in your deck just to cycle it, just to put a trample counter on something for two. But there's other, I mean, if you play in our formats, there's two casting cost cards that give everything trample. So, uh, Flying Haste, whenever you cast a non-creature spell, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Sprite Dragoth. Uh, flash spells with Flash cost one less to cast. Yeah, let's build a whole deck around Flash. I mean, you're in the right colors. Uh, we got a rare, oh, Gem Razor, okay. I mean, I know that's not worth anything. Gem Razor's a crap card, but it's still pretty. I think I have this one somewhere. I might have pulled this one already. It looks vaguely familiar. Uh, reach, trample, when this creature mutates, destroy target, artifact, or enchantment, or component occur, uh, controls. So you get a four, four, for three if you mutate it. I don't hate that, no foil. Let's put that over here. I'm curious, do I already have that card? Let's take a look through the cards that we own. What is it called? Gem Razor. Gem Razor. Oh, it's a green card. So I didn't I didn't grab enough. Let's see. Green. Where would you be? Gem Razor. Gem, green is before multicolored. Come on, Harbor. I guess I don't have it. I thought I did. Oh wait, here's green. Yep, there it is. So two of those. Oh, and I got the other, the regular gem razor. Okay, I'm sure you all care. All right, let's do one more. I'm starting to really lose hope here. Ah, what is this? This is pack five. Not a furry. Definitely a furry. Not a furry. No foil, one furry. So five packs. Usually we're getting two furries per packs, five or four packs. So nine furries so far. Wait, how many packs have I opened? One, two, three. This is pack five. Did I just throw, like, it was a rare so bad that I just threw it back? But I must have just wasn't paying attention. What happened here? What did I do? What did I do? Did I get a pack without a rare? It's quite possible I got a pack without a rare. Yeah, I don't know what I did. I've got four wrappers. Oh, the wrappers for this pack. Yeah, I'm dumb. Not getting any smarter. Uh, so target creature fights another creature. Yawn. 
Just open that. No one's building a flash deck. Well, maybe they are, but I'm not. Need to stampede, reprint, and what do we got? We got a mythic. Who wants to make a bet it's the worst mythic in the box? Because <laughs> that's my luck. Uh, oh, actually, no, this isn't bad. Uh, Kinnon, Bonder Prodigy. Yeah, this isn't bad. Um, whenever you add a non-land permanent for mana, add one more mana of any type that permanent produced. See, that's, that's a good effect for a 2-2 two, two for 2. Uh, for six, look at the top five cards of your library. You, you may put a non-human creature card from among them onto the battlefield. Put the rest in the bottom of your library in a random order. That seems like a good commander. I'm not building it. I don't like building green-blue decks, but... Yeah, okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. And, hell, I'll stop the video on that. Not bad. So, yeah. So we got a full art. We got a mythic... It's our first mythic in like 15 packs, easily. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Uh, everybody, be safe out there. Uh, the goddamn COVID's not going away.